It was another quiet night at the office. No phone calls, no messages. Nothing but junk mail and overdue bills to keep me company. Seems nobody wants to hire a real private dick anymore. A professional like me. Dick Diamond, private eye. A guy who does the detective work nobody else wants to do. A guy who wears hats and walks around in a black and white world. I began contemplating a more profitable line of work. Like politics. That's when the dame came in. You, Dick? Doll, I'm whoever you want me to be. I need to find somebody. Try the phone book. I need to find someone, but it has to be done with discretion. Discretion's my middle name, Doll. Mine's Sue. Sylvia Sue Schwartz from Sweden. Sylvia Sue Schwartz from Sweden. The dame knew I knew she wasn't Swedish, but my quiet night had come to an end no matter what her nationality might be. The dame and I carried on small talk for hours. It turned out she could keep up with me on the hard stuff. Something a dick like me found a bit... arousing. Then... That's when I knew... This could be big. When you got something big in this town, you always start at the top. The big top. You start with Big Tony McGuffin. You don't want to find this thing. My client. Your client ain't the one out looking. Think, there's a reason he ain't. She. Oh, figures with a dick like you, it's a dame. Cut the smart talk, Big Tony. I got a job to do, and you're hindering my progress. Hindering? Well, there's a big fancy word. If you're going to use big words, you better be packing big. It's a thesaurus, Dick. Big Tony was a wise guy. I didn't like wise guys. Smart comments and witty retorts weren't my style. I'm a dick who's quick and to the point. In, out, over, and done. No time to dawdle. Dawdle? Forget it, Big Tony. You helping or not? If you want to find someone, there's only one guy. You mean? Find Slick, Dick. He's not quick. In fact, he's thick. And he's a sick-looking stick. But he might do the trick. Are you dipping your wig with that chick, Dick? Figured Big Tony might be giving me the runaround. But I decided I'd better talk to Slick anyway. Searched most of the day. Strip joints, booze, halls, pool parlors. All the sleazy places a character like Slick should be. Never figured I'd find him in the least likely place of all. This is social call, Slick. I ain't the social type. That was rhetorical. Yours too, dick. Slick wasn't the brightest paint job. You say anything with too many syllables, Slick couldn't keep up. Tried to explain who I was looking for, but you always had to take it slow and easy with Slick. The fish? Even slow and easy, Slick had problems. Try any strip joints, booze halls, pool parlors? That was Slick too. A day short and a three dollar bill behind. Some say I don't know dick, but at least I know a smoke screen when I see one. Slick's departure sent me back where I started, with the dame and Big Tony. Sometimes they're called false leads, or like Tony, a MacGuffin, or Red Herring. How about a doppelganger? Oh, Tony, I missed you. <laughs> Finally, it all made sense. The dame, Big Tony, Slick, all of them. They weren't just playing dumb. You let dames and guys like Big Tony and Slick control your life. You'll soon find your life is... You'll soon find your... You'll soon find your life out of control, and you'll be diving straight into the light. Sylvia used me to find a MacGuffin. Big Tony wanted me to know he could get a dame like Sylvia, and Slick... Well, Slick had no idea why he was involved in any of this. Finally figured I'd like the quiet nights at the office. No one shows up. There's no trouble. And no trouble leaves just me and my one true friend. Don't make money that way, but I'm saying wealth's overrated. No, sir. I'll just sit here, enjoy the solitude. <laughs>